Hello dears, today I want to show you how you can determine the watershed for the points. I am requested to find the watershed for these points. I have only this point. How we can find the watershed for these points? Okay, let us do it. Now I need to bring the points. File, add data, add xy data. Okay, that is the data, that's the points. Coordinate system. The coordinate system is WGS thirty eight. Okay, okay. Yes, we have these points. Now we have to download a DEM. Open Google, search for open topography, open topography, data catalog. Okay. Global, select global and regional DEM. Then shuttle rather, uh, rather. Good. SRTM GL1. Okay. Select, first find your region. Where is your study area located? Okay. My study area is over here. So select it. If you select it. Okay. Now scroll down job title student right student enter your email okay submit okay you can open uh, your email also you can download directly from here click it you have to wait until the download is finished okay show in folder extract it Yes, this one. Now go to your uh, arc map. Download this. This one. Okay. Yes. You see, that is the DEM we have. Let's change the color to red and size to skis. Okay. That is the points. Now, from our toolbox, spatial analyst tool. Hydrology field input DM and determine a location. We have to create a folder. Folder make it name control X project square. Okay, open it. Fill okay. Arc toolbox is this time flow direction input the raster select the output folder direction flow direction okay it's the flow direction then arc to box flow accumulation input flow direction flow accumulation save okay you see that is the rivers uh, we want to show uh, smaller rivers then from our toolbox go to map algebra raster calculator flow accumulation let be greater than 150 the river for 150 cells okay this time you see the rivers clearly. Yes. You see the rivers. We want to find the catchment is correspond to this point with pointers. Now what we have to do, we have to create some pointers. Then from catalog from here, right click, new, shape file, name it outlet outlet all water comes to these outlets coordinate system 
38 nodes okay okay good then from editor if you don't have editor just right click editor if you don't have right click select editor you get start editing outlet okay this time from here select outlet point yes select it at a point here one here one here okay this is for not on the river you see so I have to add here also for this one here okay edit huh? stop editing yes now from out that right click open attribute table you have to add ID here for each one otherwise you can't find you can't uh, determine the watershed so we have to start editing for outlet okay open attribute table this time now we can change one two three four five okay stop editing yes now again from our toolbox is watershed input flow direction raster that's the flow direction input raster or feature poor point that's the feature poor point we created here you have to select it id from environment processing extent select it same as layer flow direction okay output path is watershed save okay yes that is the watershed for this uh, point as we have and if you want to calculate the area we have to change the uh, raster to polygon also the coordinate system let's see the coordinate system Source coordinate system is WGS 1984. You can't find area for this coordinate system. First, from our toolbox, is conversion tool from raster to polygon. Okay, watershed shape file save. Okay, now I want to uncheck this. Good. For this one, right click, properties, symbology, category, ID, add all values. You see, it's written 7. Apply. Okay. You see? six and three is not available so I from open attribute table delete six editor start editing okay open attribute table six delete this one and the three select it good this time editor stop editing yes then from watershed open properties symbology at all values seven one two four five seven okay it's good now we can determine area so open attribute table 
add field add field area double ok calculate geometry yes use this one let be in hectare it depends on you yes also properties area precision numeric select the decimal to two that's the area for each uh, that's the area for each watershed that's all i hope it can be helpful have a nice time